Good luck. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Honored guests, good morning. Today we are here to announce a launch of a major event in the history of our territory. One that I feel will help change the way government and its partners will work together in the future. As you know, the government of Nunavut announced last fall that one of its priorities will be the reduction of poverty in Nunavut. In the budget speech, this year we committed resources to the preparation and implementation of poverty reduction strategy for Nunavut. At the same time, Nunavut Tungavik Incorporated publicly announced their interest in working with the government on this very important project. Over the summer, we agreed to collaborate. Today, we are here with NTI and QIA President to announce collabor collaborative public engagements initiative to reduce poverty in Nunavut. We are inviting all Nunavut new to become engaged in the development of a plan to tackle poverty within our territory. As Premier Ariak and Acting President James Itiluk have said, poverty affects each one of us. If we are to solve the poverty problem in Nunavut, each one of us must play a part in its solution. This initiative will ensure that everyone in Nunavut has the opportunity to play a role in helping define poverty, to reduce poverty, and to prevent poverty. What do we mean by public engagement? This winter, we begin a three-stage collaborative process to produce a Nunavut, Nunavut Poverty Reduction Action Plan by the fall of 2011. In the first stage, we are asking each community in Nunavut to provide their ideas for change. How do we experience poverty in our communities? What do we need to do to ensure a much better standard of living for those most in need? In March next year, with our partners in NTI, we'll sponsor a series of regional roundtables to consider these ideas and to prepare options for action on poverty. These options will be presented at a poverty summit in Yakaluit next fall, where Nunavut's Poverty Reduction Action Plan will be decided. The plan will commit <coughs> government, NTI, and our partners to specific and immediate action to reduce poverty in our territory. Government will participate as an equal partner in this public engagement process. Decisions will be made with our partners on a consensus basis. Government is prepared to commit to action as is MTI and will invite our partners to do the same. It is my task to serve as a co-chair for the public engagement process and I will be joined by a co-chair from NTI. We are now in the process of selecting co-chairs to represent the business community and the non-profit community. <coughs> I am confident that we will arrive at a poverty reduction action plan for Nunavut at this time next year. We will work together. If all Nunavut would get involved, we can bring positive change to the lives of those of us who are most in need. Thank you for taking the time. Pray nine. Um Nakumik a Malunakumik the Bunny Hotel Narame, uh Ulla Kikatani Kadichadigi Kumit. Um a private to Mark sitting in the Katimagal or Tilda Wit. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to uh, like to point out that the uh, QIA is having its annual general meeting started this morning and interrupted my uh, report to the AGM to come to this event. 
uh, they had no problem at all with that. Um, they want to be part of the solution to reduce poverty or eliminate poverty. So um, I'd like to uh, thank you for the invitation. Uh, and I'm happy to hear that um, the GN and Inuit organizations are, are and will be working together to address such a serious issue. The plan to work on poverty is not only a key part of the GN's Tabapta, but it is also a key interest uh, that has been raised uh, a lot by Inuit and our communities, and most recently at the anti-AGM in 2009. Each and every community, not just in Nunavut, sees and feels poverty. So in order to create the strongest poverty reduction strategy possible, we need every community's perspective. We need the experiences of Pivinit and their experience in the uh, soup kitchen. We need the experience of our lunch programs. We need uh, to hear from our breakfast programs. How do they raise their money? Who do they work with? What are their challenges? Because we already have that good experience behind us already. And like uh, uh, Eva and James and uh, Peter just said, reducing poverty will require the combined efforts of governments, any organizations, NGOs, communities, businesses, and individuals. As we're working together on poverty, we will also be working together on education issues, health issues, economic development issues, uh, what else? Housing issues, because these are all interconnected. And, and like I said, I think we can't <clears throat> just start with a clean slate. I think we have the experience of organizations like Pivinit, we have the experience of other Aboriginal communities, we have the experience of other uh, governments, municipalities, who are also working on reducing poverty. So we do have to reinvent the wheel at every stage. Um, starting in November, like Peter said, community dialogues will be held in each community to start our public engagement process that will lead to a finalized plan. November mi piga la ganta kwa kama makut amani ni mbutu kama viko pula kaya hataluti katiba ni chaka taluti tana piga la ngakho ya malaku ni nani ni tu kadi chaka tiki lo taki sia ni tana suku hatagnik ni kaya chaka ni kaya chaka chaka taginik kaya ya chaka ginik tama kwa kulo ya kisia ni pila chaka tiki lo ta kadi chaka tiki lo ta Simulik sa tinu takun na luta, takun na tuin na luta, tatat mi ka chain na ka mi ka yau chia rum na ngai. We all have to work together to combat this huge issue. All parts of society must participate, and we look forward to a full discussion on the issue and the other issues to start to address Nunavut's challenges. After all, when I'm hungry, I don't work very well. Can you imagine? child who goes to school hungry, he or she is not learning. So, and um, either at the kindergarten level, grade 12 level, if you're hungry, you're not gonna learn properly. So I think uh, reducing poverty is to everybody's benefit, not just to the uh, communities, not just to the organizations, but to the individual families and, and um, uh, everybody's friends. So. I look forward to working with the government. I look forward to working with, with business. I look forward to working with organizations like Pivinit to start to address the issue.